Now we need to check in at LA with Catherine Eisman, our fabulous breakfast reporter, to talk about the crazy trends that are going on over there. Happy Thanksgiving, Catherine. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. We've got a lot to be thankful for. And Americans love nothing more than sitting around and overeating to celebrate this amazing day. Don't they? Uh, it's Why actually not? called... Why not? Why not? They even call it Turkey Day. And there's a new trend in turkeys that is pretty hilarious, actually. It's called the sexy turkey. <laughs> and if you want to keep in, you know, in theme with the tradition of serving a turkey, but add your own thing to it, you can give your turkey tan lines. Um, it's hilarious. What you do is you uh, prepare your turkey and then you cut out foil in the shape of a bikini. You you apply it to the turkey, you roast it, add a little paprika or paprika, I don't know, I'm so confused about how to pronounce it. And that's like your tan kind of special booster juice. It comes out the sexiest turkey you've ever bitten into. Love it. Is this really, has this really taken off? I mean, the picture that we've got on screen at the moment is a classic. It's so funny. Yeah, you can imagine like a 12-month calendar of different sexy turkey poses, can't you? Exactly. Um, <laughs> it's just... It's just started, but I saw this. I'm telling you, next year it's going to be huge. Everyone will be going sexy turkey. I bet. And I and reckon you could and probably do it. it's not the only it. weird food thing. And you could kind of do it with the chook as well, I guess. You just need the paprika. Okay, let's talk about this other, other thing that's going on at the moment. Runway Bitter. It's a way that, you know, us women and men can get their hands on the latest runway fashions at a fraction of the cost. A fraction. It's almost like too good to be true, but it is true. Uh, if anyone's ever gone on eBay and you've seen that, you know, luxury items are being s uh, sold there, well, this is a, a site that only sells brand new current or future season handbags, Louboutin, Christian, you know, uh, a Balenciaga bags for 95% off. And how it works is a little different to anything like eBay. It's a live auction site and you have to pre-purchase bidding packages before you go on. And then every time you bid on an item that you like on runwaybidder.com, which is the site, the item only goes up by one cent and they deduct one bid out of your kitty. And then like a live auction, like for a house, the person, it's not about who bids the most money, it's only about the last person who bids. So if you're the last person to click bid, you can walk away with a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes or Jimmy Choo shoes for $30, $18. Yeah, that's it's just crazy, ridiculous. isn't it? Any little tricks up your sleeve to have while you go on this website? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first, I think people should really observe it um, so they get a sense of how it works because it's something new, so you, could, you don't want to waste all your bids. I think it's so amazing. I'm definitely... I want to see if I can invest or get involved in this. It's so fantastic. Um, another thing is, you know, pick one item and then use all your bids on that. Don't kind of put two bids here and three bids there because then you kind of waste your bids. So pick that one item and then go for it. OK, Focus. very good. I'm going to go and check it out for sure. Now, this last thing we want to talk about, Flick Date. It's a new app. It's speed dating um, online or on your phone, your PDAs or whatever it may be but it's brutal yeah it's so brutal you know everything's fair in love and war and this app really proves that it's the first ever smartphone app that has speed dating in it and what you do is it's called flick date and you literally will get flicked to someone who is like a live person for 90 seconds and you can decide whether you like them whether you're attracted it, and if you you know you can ask them a question if in fact that you decide you do not like them they're just not your kind of thing you don't have to wait the whole 90 seconds you can flick them right there and then and um, and give them a poor score so you can like bar them to their face but via your phone i love it is it taking off it is. It's growing very quickly because everyone's saying, oh, I'm too busy to date or... And everyone enjoys a little bit of rejection. So if you get flicked, you can, like, flick the next person that comes your way. Yeah, it's kind of sad, you get to meet a lot of people very quickly. It's kind of sad, though, that the traditional kind of hooking up has gone by the wayside. But anyway, such is the way that the society's moving. Now, you've got something there to show us. This is disgusting, and I cooked it, which is why it's disgusting. <laughs> this is another Thanksgiving feast... It's sweet potato mash with marshmallows, which is an American delicacy. They put um, marshmallows on top because that... it's not sweet enough. Maple syrup. Is it terrible? Like, did you cook it to please all your American mates, or is it actually yummy? I'm going... <laughs> it's delicious and disgusting. You know what I mean? It's, I'm, I'm going to a Thanksgiving lunch after this, so I'm bringing this. They will either thank me or never invite me back. But, yeah, this is what people like to eat here. It's all wow. about sweet and a little bit of cinnamon as well. Wow. Oh, well, good there luck. Go. I think a minute on the lips forever on your hips with that one. But thank you very much, Catherine. Always lovely to chat. <laughs>
It needs a bit of prettying up, but apart, apart from that, I'm sure it tastes fine. That could be the byline for America, uh, couldn't it? It's what? delicious, but, but disgusting. disgusting. <laughs> um, because that pretty much would sum up everything they put in their mouths in the States. I love it. I think it. they do great delis. The salads that you can get in the delis there are fabulous. Mm. Really healthy. I'll just have a piece of cheese, thanks. Oh, would you like cheese with that? Yeah, go on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> cheese on everything. everything. And like some of it's breakfast. that bright orange. You know oh. that bright orange cheese? It must be just grated colouring. It's just, yeah, it's absolutely. Um, have you ever had grits in the morning? Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. The whole, I mean, all of that stuff with cheese.